<laughs> what are you doing? I'm fusing different types of equipment together. Oh, you mean the thing that's a royal pain and takes forever? <laughs> By fusing equipment, you bring out its full potency and create something entirely new. Isn't it wonderful? Boy, I'll say. We Seraphim have plenty of time on our hands, so it's important to have hobbies. That's your hobby? Go of talent. I think I'm gonna look around town real quick. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, wanna go ask them about the Irish gems? Alrighty, I'll go ask. Will you be alright? They look pretty sketchy. Leave it to me. All merchants are like family. Money keeps us together. Are you sure about this? Let's just leave it to Rose. You're not savvy enough to know when we're being tricked. Yeah, speak for yourself. I got it. They said they saw an iris gem in the ruins north of here. A ruin in the north? Weird. Why do they keep laughing? Are they laughing at me? They think you're a phony shepherd and that I'm a victim of your con artistry. Huh. They've got it wrong. It can't be helped. There are many who claim to be the shepherd. But still, to be treated like a con artist? No point in arguing with them. Yeah. It's way better to be laughed at than to be frightened of. Alright, so we'll have to go to the north. Another star over here. Oh, him Thank again. You for taking the time to come today. Lo, I am the shepherd, Malfor. Hey, tell me, shepherd. Is it really true that you saved the plagued city? Oh, it was nothing. I just helped the Princess of Highland a little by building a bridge in a single day. Then what about the Battle of Glavend? Did you really stop the war? Why, it was easy. All I did was tell them that this isn't the time to be quarreling with one another. It was a hard battle, but I was able to gain support from the Roland's Night Squad. Isn't that Captain Sergei from the Platinum Knights? Then it might not completely be a lie. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to do it without getting caught. <clears throat> I suppose the knights wouldn't just let some mere imposter do as he pleases. So you mean to say this bloke must be... Joy. An actual shepherd? It matters not what I am, but please, no matter what, Believe in the blessing of the Seraphim. That is the only way to bring salvation to this world. If the people desire it so, I, the Shepherd Malfour, shall put my life on the line to deliver their prayers. Shepherd Malfour! Shepherd Malfour! May the Seraphim's blessing cover the world. This is ridiculous. Saray's the one who did those things. And I'm sure Sergei knows that, too. There must be a reason. Probably.
Please wait, Shepard Sore. There's a reason behind Malfor's actions. I'm sure. I trust Sergei. We're quite unsure how he worked his way in, but Malfor has been a favorite of General Tuller. And so, the General has ordered the Night Squad to protect the Shepherd, Malfor. That's the reason? They are just pawns of the Empire, after all. General Tuller also has a close relationship with the Imperial Majesty, and... No more excuses! Whatever the reason is, it is clear I have sullied your honor. I can only apologize. <laughs> Not sure I had honor to start with. <laughs> anyway, it was nice to see that people expect so much from the Shepherd. It's a good sign. What a gentleman. Gentlemen, Schmentelman, what were you doing just standing around? I'm afraid I could do not. Knowing all the while who the true shepherd was. Looks like they took advantage of just how earnest you are. It's pretty ironic. The less affected by malevolence you are, the harder it is to live an honest life. Such is the human condition, I suppose. Even so, that is how humans live. It's tough. We'll go check out the northern quarter real quick. I think we're about good. I just noticed whenever Miklio gets angry, it always has something to do with Saray. What? That's not true. Then what's with that response? Come on, you guys are family. Step out here and find out exactly where I'm gonna go. See if it's marked at least. Oh, here we go. Maven? Someone you know? Uh, kinda. He's family to me, in a way. How marvelous. Maven has been a great help to all of us. To the church? How so? It's a bit embarrassing, but he has been teaching us many of the ancient legends that were once lost to the church. Literature, legends, ruins. It is quite humbling to realize the true breadth of his knowledge. Yep, that sounds like Maven. I guess he wasn't faking the whole explorer thing after all. Oh no, I forgot to give him a thank you gift. Ah, don't worry about it. Trust me, he won't mind. No, I really must. Oh, but I am already running late for my church duties. We could bring it to him, if you like. I'm dreadfully sorry. Would you be able to? He said he was heading to the Gepharis ruins to meet with some old acquaintances. There you have it. Going to the Gepharis ruins. this now was the author of this record a village chief it looked like he was founding a village or something hey Miklio I was wondering you don't suppose he was a shepherd 
If the Shepherd was the one who wrote the Celestial Record, a lot of things start to make sense, and... Hmm... Miklio? Oh, um, sorry. What did you just say? Whoa, I've never seen you space out like that. You feeling okay? Oh no, poor sick Leo. Nice. Not nice. No, but seriously, you all right? Should we sit down for a bit? I'm fine. I just got caught up in my thoughts. For some reason. Well, we've met our first goal. Well, it would have been nice if we could have investigated before the place got ransacked. But it looks like it happened a long time ago. There's actually something I've noticed about that. Don't you think that the stones and decorations looted from here may have been used in Pendrago's architecture? It's possible, given the location and the era. Right. And if we can find out where they've been used, we might be able to find the hidden history of Pendrago. If we compare with Lady Lake, which utilized the Vivia subterranean aqueduct, we might find what people in that era were thinking. Sounds awesome! Good thinking, Miklio! And that's not all. If we build upon our current hypothesis... Hang on. I don't get what's so awesome about this. But they're so enthused. Friggin' weirdos. <laughs> Guess I'm the clown again. No, no, that was a smile of praise. To the true king of the Ruin Geeks. Viva the Ruin Geek Shepherd. What kind of shepherd is that? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Then that makes Saray the first. No objections? I guess. Isn't this place a tomb? Am I gonna get cursed or something? Don't worry. We'll all be punished together. <laughs> Though we'll be sure to let you go first. No, thank you! Hey, it's disrespectful to talk loudly in the ruins. There goes the second biggest ruin geek. More like Mebo, geek times two. What's that supposed to mean? Be quiet. It's disrespectful. It's your fault! Hey, Miklio's getting pretty angry, even though Saray's not really involved. <laughs> He's not angry. Just overreacting, says Saray. Ugh, this really grinds my gears. We can't afford to hold back. Ready, roll back. Let's Let's roll back. Roll. So it's not a scorpion, but a scorpion like creature? You can look at it that way. But be careful, Rose. It's resistant to multiple elements, so we'll need to observe their attack patterns. Okay, got it. No escape! It's over! It's over! How's this? Back to this! Focus on that! Sorry, I can't end! Here! Go shot! Rock winner! Ready? Go! Rising sand, right up! Smite them malevolent! Rising sand! I need a hand! The crow's gonna be on the back! Rock winner! Spirit cleansing! Right up! Take it! Rising sand! Try and hit me with it. You're pretty much screwed. I need a hand. Focus on defense. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Shake them up. Take this! Surging landscape! Earth Pulse! 
Got him. That was radiant, Edna. Supply from your level of reserve. Wind jump. Wind jump. Pick a flower. Put it in your hair. Such a majestic cave. Zombies! Shall we go? Time for your break. I knew the undead have infinite HP, but... Inflicting physical ailments should work. Today's trivia. When you have a physical ailment, you can't recover your HP. That count is breaking the fourth wall. Whatever. Not done yet. Nice to be able to put my hair up with a barrette, right? What's a barrette? You don't know what a barrette is? Were you born in, in a, a barn? barn? Have you been living under, under a, rock? a rock? Oh my. <laughs> um. Is that a monolith? I've got places to go, people to see, ladies to love me. Speaking of which, there's something I need to check. Yeah, that's what I thought. I forgot to change that. There we go. We won't be defeated. More zombies. Well, you were quite strong, but we're no pushovers either. I got a waistcoat. That's cool. Shall we go? It's a lizard man. It's over. Let's get him. You were quite strong, but we're no pushovers either. Well. Bit uneventful, but hey, I, what can I say? Lavender zombies. Oh, the zombies won't. They just want some more lavender for themselves. You know, the mature rose. Coming from you, I'm not sure how to take that. What now, Edna? And, and you're, you're such, such a kid. Hmm. <laughs> yep. That's a hole. That is not a hole I want to go into. You ready, Sarai? Victory is ours. Yeah, these guys are weak. Get away from me. What's that? Rock you. Pretty rock, I gotta say. Orpiment. 
often found at the bottom of volcanic fumaroles. Oh. Well, it sure is a brilliant yellow. Once it was used as a colorant, but that is all behind us now. You know all about this. Of course. I'm an Earth Seraph. I don't bum around. Edna? Uh, you okay? Orpiment is also known as Arsenius Sulfide. You would know that if you'd been reared what? properly. <laughs> oh yeah, that stuff. It's used to make poison, right? P poison Chill out, we don't use it. But it's supposed to be a type of arsenic. That's incredibly lethal. You should have told us in the first place. I've been telling you this entire time, you butt. Oh, arsenic? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Really? Really? <laughs> this game has this they got very good humor. I love the humor in this game. It's really, really nice and refreshing. Oh, this is where we're getting serious. All right, come to this. I challenge you, Kelly. I challenge you, Bat Baron. That bat looks bossy. <laughs> Whatever. Looks like they shoot distorted sonic waves. Got him. Nice job, Miklia. You've been slacking off, haven't you? That was, that was not bad. Definitely weird. You're also really not weird. Hello.
So I guess that means that general guy was exiled? From the army? From his country? Maybe he lost a war? Just a thought. Once there had been huge crowds cheering for him. And now... It makes me wonder. There was no one at all he could turn to? That's par for the course for humans. Hmm. This way. You used to live on this nest, Edna? Yeah. It's a nest for man eating monsters nowadays, though. You didn't have to say that much. It's, it's just a fact. Even he doesn't recognize me anymore. I think there's a very strong monster here somewhere. Let's drop a save over here real quick. Oh, the heck you come from? Saray, you're definitely improved. Yep, thanks to all of you. Thanks to us, indeed. Well, every little bit helps. Another mimic. Really run? All right then. Yeah, there's the big tough one up there. Let's try you out now, bud. Fours, huh? to go near it without heed, especially when they cast curse spells. What a pain. Well, ain't no problem now. What a formidable opponent. And now it's dead. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Okay, we're about to meet an old friend. <laughs> <laughs> 